Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. You're, you're on the A to Believer channel. And I'm going to share another little tunette the Lord give me. And I thought I would uh, read a few scriptures here just to show you or let you know where I got some of these from. They're right out of the Bible. And you Bible thumpers will know very good and well. But the first one I wanted to read was Acts 15, 14. And by the way, thank you for stopping on my channel and watching. I hope you watch to the end. Uh, Acts 15, 14 says, Simeon hath declared how God at first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Great emphasis on the name in the Bible. And in Ephesians 3, 14 through 15, this one's especially precious to me. Uh, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in the heaven and earth is named. If you're part of the family of God, uh, you most likely share that name of Jesus. We've all got the same name. We inherit our name. Uh, Jesus inherited, inherited his Father's name, and if we uh, take on his name, we become joint heirs with him. What a precious thing, precious thing. And in Philippians 2, 9 and 10, it says, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. It's a name above all names. And in Acts 4, 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that's just a few of them. They're all through the Bible from, from end to beginning. From Genesis to Revelation, you'll find the Lord exalts his name and is very pleased when his people exalts his name. It's a saving name. It's, it's a power name, name above all names. The little song I came up with, I made a, uh, I found this beautiful plate charger and it's on my thumbnail picture, I'm holding it up. Uh, and I just think it's so pretty, it was so pretty, I wanted to do something with it. So I made the plate and I hung it, I especially like to hang it at Christmas. It's gold, it's beautiful. And it draws attention to that and I wanna glorify the name of Jesus. And it says, proclaim his name. So I had that hanging and I thought, I just started singing one day and got this little tune. I'm going to share it right quick because I want to do some other things today right quick too. I wanted to share some crafts with you, uh, the plate I made, uh, just giving craft ideas for those of you that are crafters. And another one I'll share with you too before I close off. But I'm going to sing the tune right quick like to share my tunes. Somebody might share them, like to sing them too. But it's proclaim his name, that precious family name. Proclaim his name, the name above all names. Proclaim his name, by no other can be saved. Proclaim the name of Jesus. That's all it is short little tunette, but it reminds me to glorify God and give thanks to His name and exalt it. Uh, Isaiah 12, 4, I wrote that on there, and it says, And in that day ye, ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon His name, declare His doing among the people, make mention that His name is exalted. That's Isaiah 12, 4. So you can't go wrong by... Uh, claiming that, that name that Jesus come to manifest and declare. That's what he says in John 7. I've manifested your name unto the brethren. He said, I've declared it and I will declare it. So let's pick up the baton and proclaim the name of Jesus to the world. They need to know there's salvation in that name. And we're all going to bow one of these days before him and, and confess his name. Thank you, Jesus, that I have the privilege of having those uh, uh, that revelation opened up to me that I can be part of his family, part of the, 
the family of God and take on that name of Jesus. And I kind of believe, I don't kind of believe, I do believe that we take on that name, especially we identify it with and make covenant in our spirit, in our water baptism. And I'll share that more with you later on another song. I'm not preaching really a fast doctrine, but I just love the name of Jesus. And we all want to fall in love with it. So thank you for watching this so far. And before I close off, I wanted to share this one other little craft with you. Uh, around resurrection time, uh, the Passover day, uh, when it was Passover, I put this up. I made this on my little cameo, and it says, I will pass over you. And I put it above my door in my foyer, making my little declaration, and I enjoyed making it. Gave my daughter one, and there's just old boards laying around that you can take a little white paint and take the old cameo cutter. If you have a cutter, it might be a cricket or something else. Just cut you out something and make your little sign. And I just love to craft. I love to sing. I love to talk about Jesus. And I'll just stop right there. I thank you. Thank you for coming to the video and watching it. I'm going to share it on Facebook, or Facebook I think. So maybe I can get some more watches over here. Uh, and maybe touch that one that, that needs to hear some, something good about Jesus today and realize how much power there is in his name. And uh, so if you would, give me a thumbs up. And help me to share my channel to grow it. I want to reach other people. And the one, God knows the one that needs to watch it. And you never know if you share that video who you might be reaching in your group that might need to hear something uh, there's a, lots of voices out there, so let's have some more voices about Jesus. And thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and it'll let you know when I have another video. God bless you. Y'all have a God day. A God day. I'm going to have a God day. And let's keep glorifying the name of Jesus. Bye-bye.